It's hard to believe that there are just three weeks left in 2021. You know what that means. It's that time of year to set yourself up for next year's successes. In today's video, I'll take you through five steps on how to set the stage for an awesome 2022. Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City. First and foremost, what I'm about to tell you won't take up a lot of time. Well, what if I told you that each step took just 15 to 20 minutes each? With a pen and paper in hand, could you spare about 90 minutes of your time in the next three weeks so you can potentially knock 2022 out of the park? I thought so. Here are the five steps on how to set the stage for an awesome 2022. Step one, take inventory. How was 2021? What things made you happy and what things didn't make you happy? Write them down and don't edit yourself. Just let it flow. And step two, show gratitude. I know your list has good and not so good things, but I want you to be grateful for each and every one of them. It's easy to be grateful for the good things, like your neighbor who lent you their apartment when they spent the last six months out of town. But can you be grateful for the neighbor who got a new, fun, well-paying job that made you feel inadequate? It'll be tough, but trust me, being grateful is where your success will be. And step three, declutter. Finish and let go of all those nagging things to make room for new things you want to come in. Here are some examples. Finances. Collect debts, and if you can, pay your debts as best as you can. If you can't pay them in full, at least know the outstanding number and terms so you're clear on where you stand today and can start with clarity in 2022. Memberships. Do you have a gym membership, beauty boxes, or master class subscriptions that you just don't need anymore? Just hit cancel and start anew. Relationships. Clearing could also be energetic. There may be some people in your life who no longer align with you. Energetically wish them well, and in this digital world, you may unfriend them on social media with love. Step four, feel into the future. This is a really important step, and it's where you need to get out of your head. Do you want to feel in these following three areas of your life? Do you want to feel great? Health, relationships to self, others, business, and career? Keeping it to these three areas because any more will be overwhelming. The more specific you are, the better. I put them in this order because without health, we don't have anything. But without a good sense of ourselves or healthy relationships, we won't be able to thrive or sustain happiness. And business and career is third because in addition to relationships, we generally need meaningful work to bring fulfillment and foster good self-esteem. You can replace any of these three with what you would like to work on, such as finances, love relationships, spiritual growth, or a new home. Wink, wink. <laughs> Once you decide on your top three, I want you to close your eyes and imagine yourself in the scenario that you imagine. Imagine it's already happening. How does it feel? Where do you want to feel it in your body? Now write that feeling down. And remember this feeling because it's your intention. And as you know in feng shui, intention is everything. And that is where your superpowers are. Lastly, step five, celebrate. You've taken inventory, showed gratitude, made room, and already energetically felt your successes. Now it's time to celebrate. The energy of celebration is deeply powerful, and it doesn't need to be a big to-do. You can just do a happy dance or say, hooray, just keep it celebratory. If you can celebrate the things you want like they're already here, they will start making their way to you today. And that's how it works. So there you have it, the five steps on how to set the stage for an awesome 2022. I'd love to hear what you decided to focus on and see how I can support you. Leave your comments in the comments section below. Did you like this video? Please share with your friends, subscribe, or leave a comment or question below. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. And tune in next year for more feng shui real estate tips and see you in 2022.